These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between Top Esports and LGD. Shoulders as a main engage tool for LGD, and also with a 3v3 on bot side kicking off, where his jungler gets half of his health tanked out of him immediately. Three plants, though, going to get a decent amount back if both junglers trade blow for blow. And reminder, when you have Ezreal and Leona, they take control of the lane and then try to set up for dives. We literally just said this a couple of seconds ago. Jinja Gotta be careful, for though. They have so much chase down here. They gotta try to turn the fight there. Both supports getting low. It's gonna be the go forward from Jackie Love, though. And he's looking to pick up multiples as you had Mako pick up that first one. Kepler's the one that picks up Pretty good reply so far. Not only do they manage to equalize the scoring kills down the bottom of the map, they grab uh, the Void grabs for themselves, which could prove to be extremely useful later on. Corky eats up towers, same as Nar. Almost pulling the play with Meteor right behind him, but now we look at bot side. 3v2, Pyroclasm Green ready to go. Too. It's going to be used. There's the combo. Kepler already down. Jackie Love going forward and ends up claiming the kill. Now Kareem is here. The Ultra Shock laser to make matters worse. And that's going to be two quick kills on bot side for top esports, but one in trade to Kepler. It's a lot easier to have because uh, you're ahead. And it makes coordination a little bit more simple to pull off. Uh, we do end up seeing that dragon go over. And top esports are going to have to figure out a way on how they want to move into this river because LGD have every opening guarded. Mako just going forward, putting his body on the line, and he's already down. The lightning crash, though, right back, and now they have a lot of AoE damage. There's a nice trade between supports. Now you're getting top laners coming down as well. We'll see no more engage from there. LGD not feeling confident to move forward now that Jin Zhao's gone and giving over the grubs. A Bertle still here to contest a little bit. Wants to take one away if he can. Is not going to be able to do so. Again, oh. you see the proactivity from Bertle. He stole no it. Way. Huge. Oh my god. Huge. That is such a lapse of coverage from top esports. It's a very clever play right here. The more time you create for Bertle, the better it is. Three man topside. Can you survive, Bertle? Ooh. He almost gets got there, but not going to. And now he has the Megadar coming up. So it's going to be top esports that need to either wait this out or find an engage as this next wave crashes because they'll have it for just a little bit longer. He's going to try to clear the wave as the best arrow? as possible. Here it comes. Hits Tien. And this sets it up for a 2v1, but it still doesn't matter. The CC chain Mako. Another turret shot. It's not enough. And top esports, they execute the dive on top side. Top esports are very quick on the trigger right here. They know that if they shot on er Bertle early on, that is pretty much the win condition in that early game for LGD. Bertle's been getting ahead. He's been bowling 369 around, and this is the nature of this matchup as well. Towards the top side of the map, stole the Void Grab buff for himself, trying to push down the towers, put some pressure on the side lane. Top Esports are not going to allow none of that. They're going to be the ones taking that top lane tier one tower for themselves. Way Meteor's chicken nuggets right from out of his hands. Now we got TP play on bot side. Bertle is the focus yet again, but a back going to be completed by 369. Uh, and Mage is down the mid lane. How good is your AD carry scream? Because now he's being tested once again with a different flavor of mid laners. Tien, it's gonna force the flash. And he keeps, if you he look at chasing. it, yeah, I mean, there is no out for High Chow. You have Mako coming on the wall, but I don't even know if they need him. They're gonna burn him out. That Corgi has got a little bit of fire under his butt as Tien will claim his life in the side lane. And top esports continue to find advantages. This is right when you start in an essay because you have writer's block and they're like, okay, start your essay with this paragraph. And I'm not even going to take any credit for it. Uh, that was Mako right there. Yeah, Tien is going to stick around. Again, the changes onto Brand a while ago allows the ultimate to bounce off of the Brand. Makes him a great, great jeweler as well. Uh, top esports are oh, dying Oh, they are way too deep. And that turret goes down, but it is also traded for 369. Uh, top Esports has first moved into that river. They do have a couple of wards around LGD, so they can't see what's happening. They're going to commit the TP right here. Bertle's coming in. His Meganar just came down, oh, though. Sweetie. Yeah, so he's in a lot of trouble there. He doesn't really have the engage potential that the Meganar does bring. As 369 has now TP, he is much more scary than the Mininar right now, and LGD just realized they have to give that one away. Oh, and this is the unlucky timers that you get when you don't necessarily have the engage that you're looking for. Top Esports They're are looking collapsing. to flank around. They can find the long distance engage there for Mako. Does have the Solar Flare, but now Bertle is going to be getting really close to a Meganar, and they are headed to a choke point here. Bertle has the game properly deciding fight here. 
But they aren't going to be confident because they can't get Meteor and Hychow on the other side. And Top Esports are able to fight their way back to mid prio. Yeah, as you mentioned, mid and jungle had already started heading towards the top, uh, both side of the map. Top Esports are taking advantage of the numbers here that they have over LGD, moving their vision straight forward. That's exactly what they do. The you rally. give them an inch, they take a mile. One person shows down oh, both and Top Esports take your jungle. Oh, my goodness. I don't even have words. Time this game <laughs> between Cassante and Dar. I'm just saying, question mark pings are getting so much worth this game right now. <laughs> they're, they're, they're so much value in those question mark pings. Uh, but those questions still remain. We have another dragon coming up in 45 seconds. The last time the question was asked, oh. and LGD weren't able to answer. And now they might not be able to answer a Baron that's just being absolutely cooked to a crisp right now for Top Esports. Already halfway down. Birtle has to get Meganar, has to do something. And Chanta Crystal Arrow is going to hit, but the Baron's already going down. It's going to end up being secured by Cream of all people. And now they just need to get out of dodge. Cream's going to end up flashing. Kepler looking for the slowdowns as Bertle's getting Meganar going for it. Oh, oh no! Jin Zhao! He's not going to get it, but it's Bertle! He sacrifices his life for a five man, and it doesn't matter. All five big purple capes are alive and well for Top Esports. Uh, the numbers advantage into that river took down the Baron. And sure, they will sacrifice a third dragon going towards LGD and a soul point for them. But Top Esports are marching through those lanes. Their siege is so strong with the uh, the Baron buff here. And they even have sent Kreen to the side lane right now. The Zarya is going to be taking that very quickly if you don't know Zarya with the kind of passive autos and as well as her Q. Take turrets very quickly. They are going to be rebuffed a little bit in the mid lane. But Kreen is hitting good on that tier 2 and top side. I just saw the graphic card there, 31% damage mm -hmm. for Jackie Loves. Uh, Ezreal prioritized, of course, right here. The wave's going to crash over the top of the map and the mid lane at the same time. Nice dodge right there from Tien and Cream. That's the thing, though. You try to do that, that means you're seeding pressure somewhere else. That means you're just dying, maybe even in your own base. As the passive hits, the Ultra Shock Glaze as well, he's burning pretty heavily. They will defend the inhib in mid, but they're losing their inhib turret in topside. And it will end up going down. They have to commit a lot of ultimates for that one. However, they committed the ultimates to zone LGD off of those towers. In our ultis, but it hasn't been able to combine with the Strangle Thorns, with all the damage. And Top Esports have been taking advantage of the split nature of LGD so far. And they're going to continue doing that. An outer tower in bot side and the inhib in top. They are just pulling them to pieces. And they didn't have to commit anything to that. It was literally just 369 showing presence. Yeah, so they're going to let LGD start up the dragon while Cream is just winning the fight at the Nexus Turrets. They did end up getting High Chow back, so it's a 2v1. And Top Esports, now that they know that, they're just going to go all the way in. LGD, you've left your back door open, and there are intruders. But now Mako, he's trying to separate as Bertle comes in to try to get Meganar. Already, though, 369 has sliced Jin Zhao from the team. Cream hasn't even come yet. He still has TP. Bertle getting close to Meganar. Meganar, Kepler slowing down 369. This is big. Bertle he needs to get Meganar, but it's going to be the Pyroclasm and damage down from Tien that's burning Cream. LGD. Kareem going to end up backing, so not TPing to the play in top esports. They tried to make a death fight on LGD, and now they'll just get the dragon for it instead. It's insane how much pressure Cream creates in that mid lane, pulling both the solo laners of LGD to try and stop them, forcing almost a, a, a death toll onto LGD. Playing three versus four in that river, and LGD almost turning this around now. Might be losing the second barrel. Meteor is around, but do you want to commit oh, and lose your life? I don't know if he does. They will spot him out. He's not even going to go for it at the end. Just throws a couple little plants over the wall. And it will be a Baron buff secured by Top. Oh, Jinjo! Jinjo! That's a wall there. The flash coming out. He will survive. That was so close. And now Nautilus has no flash engage except for the hex flash. Oh, Jinjo is there. Throws the Q. Uh, Creepy does not want to be given not just a shutdown, but slowing down the tempo. If you die right now, it's quite a few seconds that Top Esports are going to have to play as four. And when you have the bar buff, it really kills off the buff really quickly. 
Right now, I want you to watch Mako. I want you to watch the general in action as he steps forward. 100% KP, and it's looking like it's going to continue. They got the Stranglethorn down. There's the AoE, but is it going to be enough? You still have Jackula picking off Kepler Tien with the burning bush. It's going to take him down, and now Mako, he's given his life. Tien's still very low, but it's still Jack 11 Cream who are kicking it up a notch. True Shot Barrage comes across, but not going to hit Hychow. And this could be the final siege. Top Esports looking at all three inhibs now in double super minions. They already have double super minions towards the top side, but they uh, one more kill. Oh my god, 369! 369 just what? ints himself into the turret there with the all out on the Burtle. <laughs> and that might actually just mean the siege can't be completed by Top oh, no. Esports. Give you I'm the trying, of the man. Like an 369 play. is the goat. All right. Look, <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my goodness. That will top esports now after that uh, indecision earlier. We'll try to finish it off here. They're actually finding Bertle without the Meganar now. They actually get Jinjiao too. And the wall bang there. So 369 trying to get Bertle. He will have Meganar finally as Meteor was trying to clear the minions over. Oh, oh, oh my god. Jackie Love. He is sniping people with the Mystic Shots. There's the True Shot Barrage across, 369 gets the knockback, Kepler's gone! A double kill for Jackie Love, and he's stepping it up to knock it out of the park! One last desperation for LGD, and a domineering victory for Top Esports! 369 brought out the Mordekaiser to simply just remove the champion from those fights and free his carries off of the pressure. Plus, Mordecai loves tanks because they don't necessarily do that much damage on him and he gets to trade onto them. Slow him further down. Great start. And again, these are these are the things that you can do with the Brom earlier on. You can sneak into the jungle, try to get a flash summoner. Uh, right there, they delayed Jackula from getting into that bot lane, which means that uh, Mako and Jackula will not be as dominant in pressuring that first wave. And 369 <laughs> is uh, channeling his inner the shy. He's forcing him to get the reset off he might just have overextended a little bit he's gonna need a move now the flash does come out Bertle gonna chase him down with the flash himself he wants the kill he wants to get first blood for lgd 369 what are you gonna do when Bertle comes for you and first blood goes the way of lgd he go around at least uh, to help meteor wants his own chicken nuggets Jinjiao gonna be around, so it's a 2v2. TP back out from Cream, though. Might give them a little bit more strength as the push is not all the way there. Hi Chow gonna come join. Concussive Blow is hitting, but there goes Mako into the fight. The back maybe leading out for top esports to go forward. Concussive Blows does end up going to fruition on a Mako. He's gonna burn his flash now. LGD not gonna push up any further, but they got the flash out of Mako. Keep fight, um, farming a storm still. Getting that level six super quickly can change those fights up really quickly he's looking out towards the bot side void grubs will be taken but no trade yeah. on the map yet for top esports and really good decision making from lgd to take advantage of the map state a little bit there as well really like to see them get those three grubs early oh the all out gonna be delivery service right to meteor and 369 still scratching his head on how he got there hold up now for Bertle onto this Cassandra, he's gonna be a pretty big problem for the backline of top esports. Uh, we saw it first time in the previous series as Mako well. Mako wants it. They're going in. They do have the level six on the back though. Kepler just having hit that with the enchanted crystal arrow, maybe able to follow things up. Mako getting low. Jackie Love getting Jindal low himself. They have the angle. He's going for it. Mako might be the one to first fall though. 2v2 going to the nail. It's gonna be Kepler, Jackie but it's back up. <laughs> He's got the double, and you cannot step to this world champion bot lane! Incredible stuff by Jackie Love and Mako, the way they were weaving through their targets, constantly changing. I don't even know what you do. Gets at level six. Like, I, I, you're down. You had strength in bot side. You were up at CS. Now you're down 20. You've gotten two kills to Jackie Love, and this is enabling TN to just bounce all the way between these lanes, and Cream picks up the kill over onto Jin Zhao. Top Esports is exactly where you wouldn't expect them to be. Ooh, at long range, E just about hits onto Hai Chao. And now, the dragon that we expected oh, to be traded is going to be started by Tien. We're going to look at the top side trade again, where Birdle is going to hijack. Five versus three. Top Esports have moved deep enough. They do have the vision. However, they do not Birdle. have the numbers. Birdle. 
He's in trouble, but he has the all out to get to the rest of the team. He's going to try to use that to separate. Now Tian is the target, though. He's going to get the jump out, though. The watch out. E. Now Bertle is doing massive work here. Look at Jin Zhao going over there. Now 369 in the death round all by himself. Going to come out to a wonderful surprise if you're an LGD fan. And Meteor picks it up. Now this will mean six grubs completed by LGD as Jackie Love takes plates in the bot side. Dope Esports willingly took that fight, knowing they're four versus five, knowing that Cassante is a thousand gold up on a Mordekaiser that is now sitting at zero, three, and zero. Mako needs to leave that top lane as well. There is TP onto Cream, trying back his support off, and it's gonna be the TP from 369 this time around. However, that was very questionable. All eyes on Jackie Love because that sacrifice right there that was the top mm -hmm. of the map was to get that Ezreal stronger, I but like Phantom Beast would survive here. They got the dive here, the LGD playing to their strengths. As the power class is quite across, you can't really do anything but stick together under your turret. LGD, they're juggling. Is it going to be enough? They get him to. In the death realm, though, or at least not available. Now Meteor juggling. They need one more auto. They need one more something. It's not going to give. They don't give any kills over just yet, but Cream trying to make the difference here. A lot of low health bars, and it's 369 who stands tall is the structural pillar here with this team and it's been very nice to see him ebb and flow with mako as well and uh obviously giving his own wonder star performances here the ezreal has been so strong tonight has had pretty good carry performance towards the top side of the map but now he's gonna have to carry with that cassante we know what cassante can do even after all the nerfs, they got, strong Jackie they, got they got the cleanse. Bertle has the angle. Tries to get the knockup. Gets the all out. And look, Jujau's around the corner. I just spoke about him. And Bertle, he's going to claim the shutdown. And I think that's a really good heads up decision in game for LGD to adapt their strategy to. Absolutely. They have not given Top Esports an inch to take right here. Now, again, Jackie Love with the Trinity Force is going to be hurting a lot. They're creating a barricade at the choke point. All those cues are going to be hurting from Jackie. Level 9 Ezreal right now. Couple key they're ultis the not there for LGD. They're about to have Enchanted Crystal Arrow, but top esports, they're being separated now. You have to be really careful for Cream. Glacial Fisher going to go across. 369 does have the Death Realm and might be trying to pick them out as well with it. There's the Rift Tower gone to top esports, and now it's a front to back. 369 already having popped that Death Realm, but here comes Bertle. Here comes the Enchanted, and here comes Hightail finding a kill. They've already got one. Now you got a lot of burn damage coming down for Meteor. It will not be a trade. Instead, it will be one kill for the Rift Herald. A Rift Herald secured by Tien right there, but ends up going down. He's trying to defend against it. They aren't able to get it, though. Oh, Cream actually going to use the calling on top. They're collapsing here. They do have the Rift Herald as well to use. Hightail's just going to try to get Cream. Does he? Is he going to be able to do it? He does! Hightail, the Corgi outplay as he wiggle butts all over top esports. Absolute disaster no. by top. From the hunter, they became the hunted. They lose cream in the process. They're gonna get the bump onto the tower, but what cost? They're gonna lose their mid lane, and LGD are just faster on the map. And top esports do not have the replies. Four man bot lane dive onto 369. The uh, Realm of Death is available, though. He will have an option to try to get out of this one. Gonna save it until he needs to, and then end up uh, being able to fight his way out of this bot lane play, but LGD sports, but LGD have represented. Look he at this flake. He could look for, he's going for the deep Tien one. Tien has no mana. Tien has no mana, he's got no HP. Jackie Love is in the same ba fate as well. Bertle is running into four people, but he's super strong. Oh, he's looking for the all out combo. He can't get it though. That's a really good turn from top esports and they just take him out. Starts getting scary. LGD are trying to take some control into the river because Top Esports, when they get a pick, when they know they can pretty much destroy Bertle with the damage that they have, you start questioning how strong this Cassante is from the side of LGD. The Cassante that's very fed. Top Esports Ooh. are looking for a pick. Oh my god, Hai Chao. Yeah, Hai Chao's doing a lot of work now as well. Cream getting slowed down. Looks like Top Esports with no vision cannot step forward to the might of LGD, even if they do feel like they have a lot of the strength to fight. It is not going to be there, and we will go even on Dragon scores. Top Esports 
It's a luxury to be able to let go of one of the dragons. They will have the first one and back into that Baron fight. Remember, LGD's path forward is ease of execution. All they need to do is find a trigger pull onto somebody that matters. And here it goes onto Tien. They're going to follow it up. Tien's not very tanky. He's going to have to flash over the wall. Nice damage back from Cream. He flashes himself, though. Didn't want to get hit by the CC chain there. And now Top Esports able to fight out a lot of the tools from LGD and keep 369 in the side lane. Oh, Mako. Mako. Oh, Mako. He gets completely caught. He thought they all backed. And now LGD, they have Primo position onto the Baron. Mako thought he was catching them on the reset, but it wasn't the case. 369 is going to pull the TP. It's a four versus five. He has the death route. If he can get in there and get out Meteor, that is the difference maker. Tien, he's going to be there as well. Birdle going for the engage. He's trying to get it on Tien. He goes golden, though. Death Realm has been popped, and it's on the high chow. They need the damage. Look at Jackie Love. The Pyroclasm hit it across. But now 369 coming out, and he's rolling nines here, looking for more. He gets a double kill and denies LGD from the Baron. And now Top Esports, they're circling like sharks, and it might be Shark Week as Top Esports. They just need a little bit more. Jackie Love, he's looking to hit the pepper shot. Tien gets the burn over there on the Jinjiao, and Kepler goes down to Jackie Love himself. True shot for us, not gonna hit, but it's lasting damage as they turn over onto the Baron. Cream TP's in as well, has the time to respawn right there. Tien still has ultimate available after all this fight. He was trying to find his way in. But what a chase from top esports and 369 absolutely decimated that backline. Way out of the way, and uh, he'll even flash for just to make sure. It's for style points, man. Yeah, yeah, it's for yeah, style yeah. points. You're flashing to make sure he you deserves know, three, it, honestly. Three. <laughs> absolutely. 2.5 thousand gold up on Kepler's Ash. And reminder, Top Esports did sacrifice a lot of that early game to get those tower plating so the Jackie Love. Solo tower plates, solo first tower. Making sure that his legendary Ezreal is fed enough. He's got the items needed to carry through now. Completely bloodthirster as well. Makes him a little bit safer. Distractionary tool because Jackie Love about to take a tier 2 tower outright. And Jackie Love has been taking everything off of LGD. Top Esports are playing destruction duty. And it's just honestly an honor to get to watch some of these players play in these moments. But Jackie Love having a master class. Game one was a master class for Mako. And we've highlighted this bot lane so much, and it's rightfully so. They have been one of our most dominant since coming together. You see them being dominant here. Kepler's Ash, they haven't necessarily been able to pinpoint that Ezreal down. So he's on Birdle to try and potentially find a way to get onto they that got target. Tien. They actually don't get the Glacial Fisher though. They get the good guys some blows on a Mako. Solar Flake gonna be used. Here's the TPs though. Jackie Love. He's getting out of there now. Mako in trouble. But look at 369. Look at Cream. They got the flank of a century here. Trusha Barrage not gonna hit. High Chow is soloing Jackie Love over there. They're gonna arcane shift over the wall. Kepler is stuck in the death realm as he comes out though. Tian is right there. Jackie Love steps up and now Cream. Another calling in and 369 is in the front line. Cream. He's dashing for it. Cream's going down though. Jackie Love still the only hope. Still alive! Tien, full health, has the front line for the gunslinger of Top Esports. Can he step up and make the moment his? There's still three bodies for LGD, and they will back off the fight. And we're going to be getting to fourth item for Haichao. He's already on three, which is a big breaking point, but also on the other side. Jackie Love, almost on full build now on the Ezreal. ...to go into them because they do not have the means to engage on the Top Esports themselves. Here we go. They don't have they don't have the glacial fissure. They need to be careful. They don't have that spacing tool now, and the lilting lullaby has separated them. Oh my god, he almost just dies. Alright, Kepler just gets burned by Tien. He's not even on the same screen. As now big engaged potentially from LGD as they look for Tien. Hai Chao still pumping the damage with the rocket barrages. Bertle needs to be the front line here with Jin Zhao. They do not want to step up too far. This wall has become a death wall here as Top Esports still forcing the presence around the Baron. Cream would have been the ideal person, oh. but he's almost dead. 
Almost dies straight out to High Chow. The Baron already going down the engage there. The Birdle looking for the separation on Mako. He's going to all out him away. The Solar Flare already came down though. Mako getting low, but they can't finish him off. Now the Baron is doing work for Top Esports as they move in to stop the reset. High Chow still has Rocket Barrages. Meteor with the Power Clasm. 369 goes with the Death Realm on a Meteor. He's trying to get him now it's as well. He might just finish him off here. And that means the Baron can't be done. He goes golden. Big unbreakable there from Jin Zhao. And 369 goes golden. And Bertle getting low. 369 still alive. They're still kicking. Tai Chow finishes him off. But look at the surrounding that Top Esports have done. Jackie Love already picks off one. He's almost got 5,000 damage done. And they're going to give him more. Essence Fleck forward. That's a triple kill for him. And they're looking for a Quadra heal as Hai Chow, the only remaining member on this side of the map. Top Esports looking to put the finishing blows on LGD. And finally, Top Esports managed to make the damage stick. There is so much range on that LGD lineup that they find it so difficult with three melees. They're going to pressure in that mid lane and Bolton at the same time, using that ult for some pressure. Oh. Hurdle. It's the arcane shift out, though. You can't get the engage on the back of it. And that was like a, a really only way in. You lose your intended crystal arrow now. You're a lot worse for wear in terms of engage tools. And this has been the problem for LGD that just cannot catch Jackie Love. Top Esports put the money onto that one member that LGD cannot reach. It's absolutely genius. Tien again pressuring that mid lane wave. So they can have a two lane at pressure him. at their bird. Oh Jackie my Love. god, that was a little ballsy, but he's going for it anyways. The Death Realm has been popped there on a Birdle, and they can try to take down this front. Oh my god, the little oh lullaby. Tien is sleek, singing them sweet nothings here. And Top Esports have fully trounced LGD. They make their statement known, and they will find a huge 2 0 over LGD as they find a triple kill for Cream. It's only the next turrets that are left and they need the minion wave to crash high chow he's been strong but he's not strong enough and top esports will bring themselves to a 2-2 and find a 2-0 sweep over LGD. these were some of the best highlights from the rumble stage of lpl summer 2024 matchup between top esports and lgd which moment was your favorite let me know in the comment section below this is op and i'll see you tomorrow take care